Hello everyone and welcome to Contest of Speed. I'm your host Colin Perry, Perry the Dog, in America's Tier 2 Round 2 at the Baku Street Circuit, the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. And alongside with me tonight, special guest over there from the Netherlands is Thomas. Hello. Oh yeah, special guest today. Yeah. Quite uh, quite interesting, quite fun to be here. Uh, a little bit late, but yeah, all right. And uh, I'm uh, hopefully gonna enjoy this race. Yeah, it should be a good one as uh, we get started with qualifying. Um, I know I'm in ch I'm in charge of the stream. I'm trying to pull it up on my phone so I get a get out looks. Okay, but as we see, quite a few guys heading out of the pits. Um, we've got a full, almost a full grid. We've got 19 drivers right now. I think we're going to get Nellis, who is a little bit late getting uh, to the pre-race, but he should hop in his Renault and get going. He'll just have to start in the back. But other than that, it should be uh, an exciting race, uh, Thomas. We've had an exciting one last week. We saw a lot of the guys who ran in America's Tier 1 get uh, an opportunity to battle as we have a yellow flag already in Sector 1. I'll pull up the track map. No, oh, what? What? I think it was the Haas, or it should have been Percy who was slow. That was the case. We might have just been getting out of the way of somebody, or just leaving the pits. It looks like our first driver who will be starting a lap will be Bomb Tree. We might as well and get a view of him as he comes around turn one. There's a very diverse group, Thomas. Uh, we talked about a little bit about Brazil. If you're just joining us, didn't watch the first race. Uh, DK ended up getting the win in his Alfa Romeo and had a great come from behind drive in that race where he switched to the soft tires and then just caught everybody like they weren't moving towards the end and did a great, great job to win that race in Brazil. And then after the fact, Gru, Gru Grux King 101 had a time penalty removed, so he finished third on track. He um, well, got promoted to second after the fact. And then Bodhat, of course, finishing up the podium for the first race in Brazil. We had we had quite a lot of incidents, and it's interesting, Thomas, how this one will play out because this is a track that, you know, eats drivers alive. It's like a... It feels like a Monaco, but it's just a lot faster. Yeah, it is... Um, quite a challenging track actually of course with the castle section but as well as almost wall is just like everywhere every corner so if you make a mistake it well I think 50% of the time will give you from wheel damage so yeah safety cars are quite common here yeah um, we saw at tier 1 earlier today it, well, at the end of tier two, and we are in tier three. So uh, yeah, I don't know, guys, but I think we will see some uh, safety cars along the way in this race. We spectate Bomb Tree does a 139 one. Been a lot of talk about what to, uh, what what might happen in qualifying. Uh, what kind of times will be run? As as Imran is actually on his set of hards at the moment, so. Probably won't be running his fastest lap as Messi. Messi has already crashed, it appears, in the end of the second sector. So he will be not setting a time and be starting down there probably in P19. But uh, yeah, we, we talked about times, and I think we're not going to see the times go down like we saw in Tier 2. We're obviously Tier 1 earlier today, but uh, Zimran I clips the wall. Uh, I think we're going to see, you know, just the consistent times, maybe 138s be the best uh, best type of times to see here in this second tier. Uh, yeah, you know what the thing is about this track? Well, like, of course, you want to be as much up front on the grid as possible, but I think uh, with all the safety cars, I think that it's not really important what you do during qualifying, as long as you keep on with the right strategy, and if you make great choices when the safety car comes out, I think you have a really good shot at getting the victory here. So. Qualifying is not that important as it is for example Monaco or something. You can make mistakes, all to play for in the race, but of course if you can be a pull why not? Yeah, uh, 
I think that it helps as when you get to um, when you get you start up the field maybe especially in that first row you get an opportunity to be get away from at least the damage at the start of the race but it's also interesting how the drivers end up as you see two guys parked to get out of the way uh, right after the castle that's a that's one of the most interesting spots I've seen people sit uh, needless to say as it looks like the, one of the tour hustles is gonna oh that that is the guy we're watching is down oh he's he's got it stuck in neutral now I don't know if he knows that okay mm -hmm. <laughs> Rando now in the call so as well making a mistake I think that's him uh, he's yes, in his in lap he's on his in lap so it won't hurt him as much oh and down full actually retired okay I think he might have had maybe some sort of controls issue there that would be the only thing that would make me think that he could potentially have some issues on his own is if his shifter broke or I know that a lot of these guys are either on a wheel or uh, transitioning to a wheel so they're kind of a lot of these guys are in that in-between stage where they had a lot of success on the pad one of them being Seth he was decently quick on the pad been switched over to a wheel now for a little while and now should be competing towards the top of the field he had a tough race in Brazil but stole a solid p5 victory out of the jaws of what could have been a lot worse I think he's on an in lap as well so yeah just set his lap um, before this one so he's definitely going to come into the pits as Efron now is trying to get prepared for the second run in this qualifying session where the Brazil these guys had four chances to put in a quick lap you can only do three runs around here so yeah they need to try to rejoin you stop the stream or um I, j I just like disconnected from the lobby oh, you're just rejoining it yeah Yeah, so far, Alpa uh, in the chat, I think it was a little while ago, but says that he's thinking the 37s would be a good pull time. I think that would be an outstanding pull time. Um, talking to a few of the quicker guys, Juventus, who did not participate in the race of Brazil, actually uh, did a practice of 137, I know, in the uh, lobby. So, he, in a practice lobby going into this. So, I know he could potentially have the pace to really put down a quick lap and. Uh, you know, take advantage of racing down in the lower uh, lobbies. He is going on to the next straight now, onto the start finish straight, last corner to deal with. I think he is on for quite a solid lap. I think this is going to be the current pole position time. Let's see, Let me see his clock line. rolls down. Yeah, he hits the DRS at 134. Now he's pulled ah, into the pits. He's up. So yeah, his track map is red as well on my screen. So I think he must have embedded it somewhere. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's the racing point in P19 who's going to start his lap as well. So maybe it's uh, I think we've come to the consensus that it's Kill Bill. But, um, Fair enough. yeah, right now, uh, riding on board with Fatal, who's uh, sitting P7 at a 140.8. We had a lot of high hopes for Fatal. I think Blank and I probably built him up a little bit too much for the race of Brazil. He sat on pole, had the fastest lap there, and then proceeded to have all sorts of issues and eventually retiring out of the Brazilian Grand Prix early on in the race. So I think he's still going to be one of the front runners. Maybe a little bit expectations are coming down to earth. I know. Uh, this young guy is in uh, one of the top tiers in another league, so uh, he's, he's capable of running quick, and we'll see what he can do as he finishes up this uh, his second qualifying run. Yeah, he already invalidated. Out of it. Yeah, yeah he invalidated the corner before Castle, so just took a little bit of uh, curve with him, and uh, that's your lap done. No, he had faster sector one, though, so he's yeah. looking quick.
Hop on board last week's winner, DK. And avoid a slow car. And I guess, talk to us, Thomas. This is a difficult track for anybody, but I think especially for people who, um, you know, are getting adjusted to the wheel. There's no room for error in the second sector as we follow on board DK who nailed the castle section. He has uh, has shown a lot of pace and you know there, there probably will be quite a few mistakes though in that second sector. Oh yeah definitely um, especially with guys just going onto the wheel this is indeed a really difficult track to um, get used to the wheel I think. Those tracks like Austria and Australia, where it's just full on fast corners, grip everywhere. It's really easy to get used to the wheel, but this track you can't almost fully break into a corner because it will either lock up or just lose the back end. Um, just with steering in as well, you need to get the exits absolutely perfect, and you just can't make a single mistake because then there is a wall. So to go onto the wheel on this track is indeed a really difficult. Task, but currently these guys are managing really well because we haven't seen big mistakes in qualifying so they're all doing a really good job now. Yeah, Kill Bill throws together 139.6 and DK is two thousandths of a second slower. So we continue to count down towards the end of this session. A little bit over five minutes or about five and a half minutes to go. So Rogue is on an out lap. See if there's anybody on a quick lap. Um, I think Stonewall Surf is on the quick lap because he's running an Eros mode 4 and just set the fast at sector 1. Hop on board with him as uh, he'll follow through with the rest of his lap. Oh, there's a McLaren in the... Okay, but he's just... I think he's just getting out of the way, but it's interesting where these guys... Yeah. I mean, they've done a good job, I think, so far. We haven't had any real big issues about guys who have blocked anybody, at least so far from our perspective, but... They have been getting ca caught out in some awkward spots on the track. He's a second up on his time, so he's currently looking for P3. And if he can just improve a little bit more, he could be on for maybe even a P1 stage of qualifying. He's done a pretty good job managing ERS. Well, that puts him up P3, 139.4, so I think that's a good time for Seth as all these guys will start making their final runs. We're going to hop on board Rogue. Uh, he's let off. Yeah, he's backed out of his time. P3. Oh, it wasn't like the Garka guy. He was letting it, the guys through before Castle, but it, it's because he ran out of fuel. So, yeah. why? He was there, stuck. I think jump on board of Porridge, who's on the medium tires, who was pushing and I think now is let off. Yeah, his revs are way down. That uh, might be just a glitch, actually. I think he's still pushing. Oh, and Krukung's King, um, he says two time. weeks in a row now, my DRS has failed during qualifying. Yeah, that is really, really unfortunate. Here comes Andrew for his first qualifying time. He started up front in Brazil in P3 as he goes 10th on the mediums. But he had was way off the track in the set of S's. And then it, it, from our perspective, looked like he rejoined and rejoined okay. But I guess hearing from other drivers after the race, he rejoined and was going a lot slower than the rest of the field and ended up DNFing. Um, after being run over, so hopefully can rebound is well. If you can stick to that P10 on those mediums, he could be in a really good spot actually because those soft tires will go off very quickly, and with the mediums you just can go on that little bit longer to oh. make sure the hards will have their pace to the end of the race. Hopped on board Rogue, who definitely. Uh, did not take the pits quite exactly as the cost admins outlaid, but um, he was trying to get back in the pits quickly, I think, get another lap off. 
That is one of the downsides of the size of this track is like you said earlier we're only going to probably get at most three runs right now i mean with as many guys that are in the pits a lot of these guys are probably done setting another lap yeah you, we, we can have the same glitch as we have as yeah in other lobbies where our time is just a little bit in front um with those guys they probably have like two minutes left now go out of the it's because I can't imagine all of those guys staying into the pits. Squishy Poop comes around and does not improve on his time, so... He's going again, actually, I think. He yeah. He keeps in the US mode 5, the US wide open, so I think he abandoned his lap and just goes... Because he knows he won't have enough time to get another run in. No, we want to keep our eyes on him, but I want to take a look at Bursey, who, who might be coming to the start of a lap, actually. Let's cycle through some of these guys. Oh, yeah, the second two, that's a Ferrari. Juventus goes fastest, 138.6. Looking at the minimap, I think he got slipstream. Because now Fatal is starting his lap. Yeah, he definitely slipstream there. Great team play from the Red Bulls. Hopefully the Red Bulls tomorrow night in AM Tier 1 can do the same thing. Meanwhile, it looks like DK is trying to set a lap time, but is right behind the Ferrari of either Kano or P-Dog. And uh, I think he's probably going to held up uh, because of it. But Kano's also on a lap, so Kano does not have to yield. Come just the... Uh, Poor timing, really. As Rogue crashes, DNF's in the pits, I'm assuming. No, he went off at the end of Sector 2. See if we can get on board of Fatal as he comes around. Actually, let's go back up to DK as he crosses the line right next to the Ferrari Kano. Kano's going to come across. And the 11th, while DK bumps up to 5th. Here comes Fatal now to finish his round. He is on for a P3, I think. Maybe even a P2. Maybe even P1. He'll get awfully close. Oh. He will be P1. By a little bit under 2 tenths of a second over his teammate Juventus. So it's a Red Bull 1-2. Can't tell. And I think, yeah, Bursey must have just invalidated. Yep. He yeah, caught it uh, just as he jumped the curb in that second still sector. Pete, he is going to the line now. Is he gonna do something? He's two, or he's almost two tenths up through the second sector, so he could jump rogue. And indeed, he will jump rogue, but won't be enough for Kill Bill. So the Ferrari will line up P8. And that should be it. Uh, Bursey will come to the line. Let's see. Now uh, he's backed out of it already. So it will be a Red Bull 1 2 start here in America's Tier 2 at the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. The 138 4 being the fastest time set. In fact, both Red Bulls were the only two setting lap times in the 138s. Yeah, they're looking quite strong. Uh is race quite a big gap actually between E2 and P3 so we might be seeing some strategic team play between uh, the Red Bulls by just trying to use each other as a slipstream and then try to pull away from the rest of it. Both starting on softs though so either one of them has to come in early or come in later because they can't stop at the same time. Well they can but they will get held up of course. That's something I need to keep in mind. Yep, so I'll run through this real quickly. Of course, the two Red Bulls, one and two. Bomb Tree throws together a third place start. Mersey P4, Stonewall Seth right where he left off in a P5. DK after the win will start sixth. Kill Bill in seventh. P Dog Peyton in eighth. Rogue Wing in ninth. And Arkaka in tenth. We'll scroll through the rest of the qualifying grid, of course. Messi DNFing before he set a time. And Bot Hot as well, so. I think Bodhot had issues last week. He'll have a lot of ground to make up. Imran 
also uh, got disqualified in, in Brazil qualifying, so he'll start in the back back there at P17. And of course, yeah, and of course we have Neles. Neles, right. yeah, who's back in a little bit tardy, but uh, this penalty will be he'll start from 20th, which might not be such a bad place to start given uh, given the layout of the first two turns here at Baku. And <laughs> Dominic is in the chat, he says, nice to hear sultry voice again. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Happy to see you back in the chat. Ooh, as Kill Bill is the naughty boy of today by pressing X immediately. And another thing about this track, Thomas, the safety cars, we're, I think we're on for at least a couple. Um, uh, yeah, we got a full grid. We pack a few safety cars. I'm gonna go for two safety cars and a VSC. Got some predictions from Alp on the podium. Fatal, Bursi, and Juventus. Good shout. Really good shout. SKV. Love you, mate. We're still waiting for some reason. Are you? Are they on the grid for yeah, you? Yeah, I'm still waiting as well. It's not you. Okay. Please don't tell me the lobby is glitched. Or these guys are indeed waiting the two minutes. It was just a glitch on my screen where I saw Kill Bill ready enough. This is always really amazing. Yeah, I hope he's in the chat as well, he says Bobby is broke. Look at the Discord. Let's restart and <laughs> we have to yeah. make the custom create. Oh, this is gonna take a little bit. Yeah. Okay. If no one's gone yet, I th think we could wait it out for a minute or two. No, I think just yeah, you can just stop the stream and then we can shut okay. up everything. Yeah. Let's go again. <laughs> 